Good evening, everybody. In high school football, Scotland County will have so many weapons back on offense that the Suicide Squad might not be able to stop them. The Tigers return all of their starters, including all-conference quarterback Aaron Buford. Right now, they are stressing fundamentals. So far this week is going to be about getting us in shape, getting ready for week one, getting that conditioning in, uh, learning some new stuff, putting in some new stuff to the playbook for the older guys, the younger guys, picking up what the older guys already know and kind of taking steps forward from last year. It's rare when a freshman starts at Milan, but that happened on defense last year. And the young whippersnappers plan to use that experience to make a statement. So those guys have come in and uh, they don't act like uh, a ninth grader anymore. As a matter of fact, they don't really act like a tenth grader. They're, they're, they're out there kind of getting after it and acting more like an upperclassman. One thing to watch at Macon early on will be the defense. The big guys on the line have experience and talent. Pressure will be the key early on. Yeah, our defensive line brings a lot of experience back. Linebacker core does not, and the DBs do not. So we've got some work to do there, but we're excited about what we've got coming. Football practice starts tomorrow for Missouri, but they will be without two key members of the defensive line, Harold Brantley and Walter Brady, as they have been dismissed from the team. Brantley because of grades, Brady because he violated team policy. That won't help the Tigers right now, but in the long run, Coach Barry Odom's action will pay dividends. Scott will be in Columbia tomorrow. We'll have more on Missouri tomorrow night on the late sports. The Kirksville cross country team practiced for the first time today under the new direction of their new coach, Ethan Gable. He plans for the team. Well, he doesn't really want to reinvent the wheel. He just wants to get his team on a roll. My goals and plans are to make this a, a fun sport for the kids. I know they're really excited to be out here. I have big shoes to fill with Hutton being gone, but I, I want to live up to that and obviously get better as a coach and a young professional and just help these kids reach goals that they want to achieve. Kirk says Lee Riley has been one of the top boys tennis coaches in the state. Now he has taken over the girls program over on Cottage Grove Avenue. Riley is successful because he will start to coach you up as a freshman. And by the time you're a senior, you are ready to play with the best. Let's get out there. Let's have fun this first year. You know, kind of uh, get all the kinks worked out, so to speak. They get familiar with me. I get familiar with them. And, you know, then we'll uh, work on, you know, going from there and hopefully winning. Thanks, Coach. Tonight in the late sports, we'll have Cardinals and Royals highlights. Plus, we will take a look at Knox County football. Teresa is up next with final weather. Stay with us.